Hi there, I'm Christian from MakeYouSoft.com and in this video I am going to be reviewing this. It's the Make Block Motion Block Kit. Now, there is a small problem with this in that this is a massive kit uh, which is intended for STEM purposes and you know, encouraging children to do into science, technology, engineering and maths is aimed at 14 and above and my children are about half that age, so seven, eight. So for the purposes of this video review of the Make Block Motion Block Kit, I am now 14 years old. Rad man. If you're looking for a programmable, buildable and configurable robotics kit for your kids to get to grips with STEAM subjects, Make Block's Motion Block Kit could be the answer. STEAM subjects are staples of education in the 12 plus age bracket. So a DIY robot that has a configurable 12 by 16 LED display and can hold a pen and draw via an app would seem to be perfect. In the huge, quite heavy box, you'll find two smaller boxes organized like drawers. Each is stuffed full of the various components required to build one of the 10 motion block projects. These all require the master controller, along with four or more servos to control robot arms, wheels and other motion. Robot kits are a mixed bunch. Few have good quality parts and when they do, the kit usually has awful software. The motion block kit is clearly built and designed to last with sturdy, reliable plastic components, including dovetail joints for slotting the various modules together. These include the rotation module, arm modules and mechanical claw found in the robot arm build, along with many others. To get a flavour of the motion block kit, we concentrated on the robot arm, which features three jointed modules, the claw and the rotation module, along with suction cups for stability. Each module needs to be constructed individually with the arm requiring five servos. One of these is fitted into the claw, another into the rotating module, while the remaining three make up the arm itself. Now, during the initial build, I discovered a problem. One server was not working correctly while another had been damaged as I put the rotating module together. It seems that I'd fitted the dovetail to the bottom of the module rather than the top with the screws accidentally piercing the servo circuit board. A lesson to everyone here. Make sure you're absolutely clear of every step before you start. Happily, the MakeBlocks team forwarded a pair of replacements enabling completion for this review. Uh, one of the things I've noticed so far about building this is that it feels really, really safe. It feels sturdy. The build quality is outstanding. These pieces are really quite heavy. You wouldn't want to be thrown at you. Um, it's, full, it's hard plastic. Um, there's the servo component, there's the rubber. Um, everything feels good quality. And you know, at this stage, I'm quite optimistic about how it's going to turn out. Uh, obviously, I made a little bit of a mistake, which you may have seen. Uh, this central unit here I connected incorrectly so there's a small uh, dovetail connector which is under here uh, it looks a bit like this but it's removable and I attach it to this side instead of this side uh, which has slowed me down a bit at, at this stage I've been working about 50 45 to 50 minutes it's taken me this far this it's taken me to get this far so in terms of the age group uh, I think it, the 14 age group, uh, the children who are about to be uh, attending school to do exams uh, in science, technology, engineering, maths, those topics, uh, those subjects, this isn't suitable for any under 10, certainly, uh, unless they're prodigies. This is most definitely uh, something a child, a younger child, could, could program and use once built, but the building stage is most definitely for. Um, you know, as a 43-year-old, I'm finding it not a challenge, but, you know, hard work. And I think the level of concentration needed, you've got to be in your uh, mid-teens to be uh, a attempting a build on a project like this. Now, building a project takes time. The arm itself took around two hours in total, but this included 30 minutes for the remote synchronizer tool. This is used to control the arm. It's a useful gadget, but it's let down by the 25 millimeter wire, which limits mobility. That's about 10 inches. Fortunately, the motion block kit features a host of remote control and programmable options in the software. 
In the case of the robot arm, you can also program the device by tapping the record button on the master controller and moving the robot through the actions you want it to take. Once programmed, you can simply hit play to watch the robot follow through the steps. There are also options for control in the mobile app available for Android and iOS. It's here that you'll find detailed instructions for every build presented in CAD style 3D. You can zoom into each step to see just how the components fit together. Also in the app are project specific remote control interfaces. For example, the robot arm features a different interface to the sampling rover build. You'll find a screen that lets you customize the 12 by 16 LED too, as well as software to help extend the possibilities of each build. For example, with the robot arm, you get a drawing tool to use with the pen module. This robot can actually draw. Now further programming is possible via the secondary app available for iOS, Android and Windows. This features Scratch, allowing you to program the robot by dragging interlocking blocks and setting conditions. With the Windows version of the app, these programs can be converted into Python as well. The motion block kit is amazing. While it's aimed at kids far younger than me, I nevertheless managed to learn something from it, not least how to read instructions properly. Seriously though, if you or your kids are looking for a project kit to start researching STEAM topics properly, then this should be your starting point. The quality of this kit and its contents and the fact that the projects aren't overly prescriptive means that whoever's using it gets to research its capabilities and their own potential at their own pace. This alone makes the MakeBlock Motion Blocks kit an unmissable purchase. Enjoy this review? Don't forget to subscribe to the Make Use Soft channel and check back regularly for more tips, tricks, hardware reviews and giveaways.